Hey Dean here, it's a beautiful day, it's May 10th, and I am on the middle Provo. Uh, I'm going to do a little fishing today and see what happens. The river is higher than it has been. Uh, the runoff is on, the reservoirs are getting full, and the uh, rivers are getting boosted up a little bit as far as how much water is coming down. Uh, generally that has some effect on the fish, we'll see what that uh, does for me today. I had a chance uh, to stop in at Fish Heads Fly Shop in Heber City today. Talked to Mike Howard, who's the uh, shop manager. Uh, before I show my fishing video, I'll have a, a short uh, uh, clip of Mike talking about the flies that are working here right now and some of the things to expect. Uh, it's a great fly shop right downtown Heber City. Uh, great place to buy some flies that work when you're going to come up here and fish on the middle. Sometimes the fish here can be a bit particular. So, I'm going to go fishing and uh, I'll film what happens. Today's May 10th and uh, I'm up here at Fish Heads Fly Shop in Heber City. Got uh, Mike Howard, the shop manager, uh, going to give us a little advice on what is happening on the middle Provo and uh, what kind of flies are working right now. Uh, it's an awesome shop. If you've never been to Fish Heads, it's right in uh, right in Heber City. You pass it on your way to uh, go up and fish the middle Provo, and they're always uh, tuned in on what's happening. So, Mike, what uh, can we expect on the middle Provo right now? Well, each year, each year on uh, April 30th, uh, they always fill the canals around here, and so the water goes up. Um, and so we've got higher water on both the middle and the lower now. So primarily it's all been uh, nymph fishing uh, with uh, sow bugs. Uh, we do do a little bit of um, uh, swinging flies this time of year too um, with some uh, balanced uh, leeches or some little jig head uh, flies. Um, but the main thing is, is nymph fishing with uh, sow bugs, a little uh, 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 gut sow bug or uh, uh, Charlie. Um, and San Juan worms, anything that's, anything that's more of a tractor type thing. Using a bigger fly uh, with, um, uh, you know, a bead on it to help you get the uh, flies down and drop something smaller off the back end. So something big and then something small is what we've been using. All right, and, uh, and what uh, anything special going on at the shop uh, that you'd want to talk about? Just what? that we've got a ton of flies and we've got them all right now, and we're we're just we're just kind of in a little in between right now. Uh, as far as the fishing goes, um, we're waiting for that little uh, Mother's Day caddis to really start popping. And uh, uh, that's going to be our next hatch that we see around this place. Okay. All right, Fish Heads Fly Shop. Uh, you're going to go fish on the uh, middle Provo River. Stop by and uh, see what's working. Get some flies that work. Makes for a lot better day of fishing. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Uh, getting started here on the middle Provo. Pick up a feisty brown here. Uh, there he is right there. It's a nice fish. You can see what a beautiful brown he is and the colors on him. Anyway, uh, I picked him up on a red fox squirrel nymph bead headed pattern. I will uh, keep fishing here and uh, see what else we can pick up here on the middle Provo. There's a hatch coming off now of caddis, um, little Mother's Day caddis. So I put on a, a little caddis 
fly, nothing's rising to the surface, but I thought they might be eating them deep. Uh, pick this guy up. Just drifting a nymph. Yeah, it looks like a white fish, but it's, regardless, they're pretty healthy fish in this river. Got another uh, brown here out of the middle. I can get him to show his face. Um, picked him up on a, a gray saw bug I actually picked up over at uh, the fly shop here that we we're talking about today. So it uh, definitely uh, they got it wired in as far as what are the fish are eating. Let's see if I can get him up so at least we can see him. It's another beautiful. Golden brown brown here on the uh, on the middle of the Provo. Pretty fish, very pretty fish. Up a nice trout here. Nice brown. As you can see, it's beautiful. Sized. It's the nicest fish I've caught today by far. Got him on a, a little saw bug. Anyway, I hope you get an idea of what he looks like here. Whoop. Nice brown trout. Hopefully you get a nice view of what he looks like. It's a big one. It's a very healthy fish. Hey, just wrapping it up today from the uh, middle Provo. It's uh, been a, a fun day of fishing. Uh, it's uh, mid-afternoon now, but the wind is starting to pick up. Clouds are rolling in, so uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, had a chance to probably hook up with uh, seven or eight nice fish today. One, one white fish, everything else browns. Uh, hooked up a couple nice browns today. One was uh, really a nice brown. As a matter of fact, I had him on for quite a long time. And ended up, uh, I thought he was tired. I ended up putting a little more pressure on him than I should have. And he, he snapped my line, but it was a very, very heavy fish. So it was a great day of fishing. Uh, the Mother's Day caddis hatch is on. There are a lot of caddis on the water. The fish are not keying in on them yet, but I assume that won't uh, take long before they start getting involved in this process too, and that should be a lot of fun. So if you come up here, make sure you bring some uh, caddis patterns, some dries, some emergers. Uh, the best luck I had today was with the gray sow bug. Um, thanks to the guys at Fish Heads uh, Fly Shop, uh, kind of gave me the, uh, the local info when I stopped there this morning. So about a size 16 and 14, Gray sow bug, with a little red head uh, on it. it. Was pretty effective. Caught most of my fish on that. Did catch fish on the prince nymph, and also caught a couple fish on the uh, uh, red fox squirrel uh, nymph, a little caddis imitation, size 18. So all in all, it was a great day. Um, really enjoyed it up here on the middle. I was fishing by Legacy Bridge. I haven't fished this area of it for a while. And it was a lot of fun. There weren't too many other fishermen in, around, so I uh, kind of had uh, the best parts of the water to myself. So it was, uh, it was an awesome day. I hope you get out. Go fishing.